Good morning. Got another video in the dark. Uh, it is Sunday morning and the start of the Christmas week. <sighs> I can't believe it's finally here. Honestly, and that this year is ending and this year has been so stressful and traumatic for me. Um, we were kind of talking about it the other day and we have this feeling that we think I had the cancer for a little while, like a couple of years at least, before we found it um, because of my symptoms. Just looking back and how I was feeling before, um, we think we had it for, I had it for a while. Because um, it's just so different, like how I feel now versus how I felt like a couple of years ago. Um, I've lost about 35 pounds. Um, a little more. I lose about a pound a week. Um, half of it is from my new medication that I'm on that I take once a week. It's like this shot that I have to give myself. That's part of it. And the other part of it is I'm, I'm just not eating as much. Um, so that is Christmas week. So that is Christmas week. And today, today is kind of up in the air in a way. Um, I woke up at like 6.15 this morning because our neighbor was playing music and I'm deaf so if you know that if I can hear a little bit of music coming through the wall then it's probably pretty loud but it wasn't horrible like I could just barely make it out but I'm a very light sleeper so I just woke up. Went back to sleep for about another hour, decided it was fine, I was just going to get up. So I got up and then... Um, I was kind of hanging out on the couch. I'm watching my favorite movie, Sense and Sensibility, because I watch it like three or four times a year. Because it's my favorite movie. Um, so Marshall went to Dollar Tree and Target to pick up a few things, as well as some coffee um, for us for the morning. My husband is just now getting up, and uh, we're going to do a few things around the house. I need to make some pumpkin bars, which is my husband's favorite dessert, but we're making them like low-carb which is kind of the first time I've ever done a low carb, so we'll see how that turns out. Our plan is to maybe watch Mary Poppins today so that we can watch the new Mary Poppins on Christmas if my parents want to. Um, we also might watch Daddy's Home too. And then tonight we are planning on going out to look at lights um, on people's houses, and so we'll vlog that as well. But like I said, it's all up in the air. We will see what happens. Um, on this new week. I think these vlogs are going to probably be a little bit longer than normal. And there might be three of them just because of everything we're doing in the next couple weeks. And again, if you want if you want me to continue doing this, then please let me know below. Because um, I did kind of like doing it daily. If I do it next year, I might not do it daily, but I might do it. Like, because sometimes it's silly just to kind of come on and be like... And today I went to work, and I came home, and I went to sleep. <laughs> so I might just do it if there's, like, things happening. So let me know. Happy Sunday night. We are going out with our cocoa, and we are going to look at Christmas lights and whatnot. See what else we can find. <laughs> See what else we can find to do. Well, we get, Why do you look so, like, deer in the headlights right now, Corey? <laughs> he had cocoa and he drank it not yet not yet just me yeah, so we're gonna go drive around for a little while get you a lot of footage of what we're gonna see around pause the video go grab some cocoa yourself that's right just, we'll wait cocoa with us go ahead. go ahead cocoa and go with us
able to do we weren't able to do Advent last night because we were too tired. So we're doing the 22nd and 23rd. And we got Luna and it's green. This actually seems really interesting. Mm-hmm. Gunpowder green tea. Mm-hmm. We are on the Yep. Almost done with this one. Oh yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna like that shade. It is a very brown. It's called Deep Rooted. No, I'm not going to like that shade at all. Okay. Then you have this creepy cat who's just like giving this girl the eye. It's kind of... <laughs> this is just a kind of a creepy box. I'm just... Black. Oh. A uh, little bit of shimmer maybe? It's like grayish. Yeah. What's the color on the back? Twisted. Yes, it is. It's very twisted. Ready? Mm-hmm. Which Lannister serves on the King's Guard? Uh, yeah, that J, J Jamie. Jamie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They actually put the sock with the right house this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and um, eleven. How many eyes does the Raven in Bran's dream have? Three. Yes. Well, that I remember. The creepy Raven, I remember. Yeah, there we go. Oh, also the... Also the right one. Yay! It's Hermione. Again. Again. And Ron again? Yeah, that's the Ron again. <laughs> oh, look. Aren't they the cute couple? Uh, so we did our event, as you just saw. We did our um, lights. Um, on my eyes, I'm actually using the Friendcation palette, the Dose of Colors one. And con considering that my eyes were watering and gunky for most of the night, it held up pretty well with all of the rubbing and putting my contacts in and out six or seven times. I actually really like it a lot and Marshall didn't think I was going to, but when you have the colors just straight in the palette, it doesn't always go as well as you think it will. Mm-hmm, but it did. Yeah. Um, but I you can tell it's a hot mess. You can see the line of my foundation right here. It's a hot mess. I have to wash my face now. Um Girl, wash your face. So uh, we are really a hundred percent sure we're gonna stay in, pop some popcorn, watch a movie around other things and then you get to work all day long tomorrow christmas eve eight to seven and Corey works two to ten so i'm gonna be Truck here shift. i'm sorry but i'm gonna be here half the day by myself so i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> probably nothing i might read my book all day because we got a lot done today. We, yeah, we, we totally cleaned out our fridge our pantry and all of our cabinets and we have a box to donate we cleaned everything. Mm -hmm. It was amazing. Mm -hmm. It's Christmas Eve and it's about two o'clock and I know I haven't vlogged at all today because I've been basically just getting the house ready for my parents to come tomorrow. Um, I made some pumpkin bars that are very low carb and then I made, or we basically cleaned the rest of the kitchen up and um, what else did we do? Oh, we watched Hook because that is our Christmas Eve tradition. And then Corey went off to work and I started doing my 3D painting. I'm making some tea and I'm watching this show on Netflix called The Paleo Way and it's just like the second season. And I've just been really struggling lately because our schedules are so crazy. It is very hard to have the energy to come home and cook. But on the other side, if I eat better, I mean, granted, I'm eating semi-healthy. I really need to cut out more carbs, like a lot. And the irony of it all, the irony of it all is that if I eat better, I probably would have more energy to cook. So I'm watching this show and I'm getting, and I'm also picky, by the way, I'm a picky eater. Um, so I'm watching this show and I'm getting some ideas for just like really easy uh, veggie recipes that I can make that 
I can be quickly and we won't have to go out every night, which is good. Um, so I'm watching this and just getting a lot of ideas. Um, the I'm brewing some tea that I got last year at St. August, we went to St. Augustine. Um, it's like this blackberry tea and it smells delicious. So I'm just really trying to make a lot more healthy decisions, I think, um, whenever possible. Uh, to the, or so far 2019 is going to, I think to me, going to be a really good time that I'm going to be making these changes. I'm going to be setting better goals and you know, losing more weight and just getting to a really healthy spot. And I think that this is really going to help a lot. Um, I know a lot of people like make New Year's resolutions and I hate making New Year's resolutions. I just rather make a change. And so right now I feel like it's really a good time to do that, to plan while I'm off of work for a couple days. Um, I haven't even gotten dressed yet. I'm still in my pajamas, which is funny because usually on Christmas Eve, we get into our Christmas Eve pajamas before we go to bed, but I'm not doing that until much later because Corey isn't off till 10, Marshall's off at 7, so I'm basically just sitting here um, waiting for mail to come because apparently I'm getting some packages still today, um, so I'm waiting for the mail to come and I might change when I go get the mail. Other than that, I don't know. While I'm watching the show, I really, really miss working on the farm, um, on the ranch in California, um, I really would love to work on a very, not work, but like have a very small piece of property where we raise some chickens, get some eggs, um, maybe some goat, a couple goats so that we can, um, have them graze the land like dogs and also get a dog, <laughs> a couple fruit trees, you know, just really tr at a garden, really, I mean, just to to grow some herbs and things like that. Like, I really miss having th those kind of things. Like here in Florida, it is really hard to get fresh produce affordably. In California, it was so easy because the entire state is is so open to growing that. And, you know, it's easily shipped and fresh by the time you get it. I mean, roadside stands were like, all over the place in California and I miss it a lot. Here it is very hard to get fresh produce, like farm to table produce, without paying an extravagant amount of money. It's just so hard and I really hate that. So I'm hoping that some point in my life, soon, we'll be able to either move somewhere that's like that or just find a really good alternative. Um, we used to use Orlando Organics um, to deliver what was seasonally available in the vegetable department, vegetable and fruits. But the problem was we would pay, I think it was like 40 bucks um, every other week. But a lot of the vegetables that we would get were not ones that we really liked eating or could find a use for, I guess. It was hard. So we found that if you, if you go onto Amazon Prime now, because they have Whole Foods, you can actually get a lot of the herbs and other vegetables that may be hard to find at Target or Walmart or wherever you shop, you get these um, other other items through Prime Now, and it still can be delivered to you when you're home. What was the other problem with Orlando Organics is they would um, deliver, and we might not be like they had to to say this is the time we're delivering, and we might not be home. So it was really hard that way. At least this way, we can just have it delivered to us. So that's our plan right now to get more vegetables and herbs and things like that that we can cook with. Um, try to be as paleo as possible. I don't know if it's going to be possible to cut down on the dairy as much, but I think the grains and the legumes definitely we can try. So that is where we're at there. I think it's a good plan. We are at the last day of Advent, and because of that, I have unwrapped the Nerd Felt 25 day, even though you're supposed to do it tomorrow. I'm doing it today because tomorrow's probably going to be too busy for yeah. us. Um, so 24 is invented in Russia. You can really smell the cloves in that. And butterbeer is also one of my favorites. I really love yeah, butterbeer. Yeah, you can really smell the caramel in it. Mm, so good. Mm -hmm. did that one, so we just do this one. So day 24. Oop, another eyeshadow. This one is called In Deep Trouble. It's very dark. 
It is a very dark dry shadow. So they they went the last three days with really dark stuff. Very dark. Yeah. Don't know what that's all about. Okay. Day 12. It is whatever is that. What is it? I don't know. I think we've done them all, which is weird considering. Yeah, it's, yeah. Oh, we are going. Okay. That's fine. So, so we, we can't find which one it is because there was absolutely nothing binding everything together with this. Yeah. They pretty much just made an image out of all of the house images. And then they put some other stuff on the other side. And then they threw some socks behind it. So. <laughs> screw it. Lannisters. Yeah. Go away. Is it another Harry? This will be Harry number three. This is Harry in sweater. Well, at least we got like an almost a full set of sweaters. Mm -hmm. So there is the very last one, another Harry. This is the third Harry. I feel like... It's a very Harry advent. Yeah, I mean, okay, so I really like this advent a lot. However, I think three Harrys was excessive and they probably could have put in at least one different one. So we didn't have three. Mm -hmm. Um... But, yay. I'm I'm really happy with this one. I'm glad we're doing a different one every year. Like, we used to do the Lego ones. And yeah. We kind of moved on. So I can't wait to see what we have next year. I did also want to point out, again, that if you're interested in this really cute candle or anything with these little pegs, um, it is Peggly Puffs. The information is down in the description box. If you are interested, you can get Peggly Puffs for 15% off using Laney15. Um, but she will work with you with custom stuff, too. I asked for this customly, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Anything you want to say regarding today and Christmas Eve and whatnot? I am very ready to wrap presents, put presents under tree, and pass out. It's been a long day. I've been up since six. It's okay. At least you're off tomorrow. Oh, yeah. We're going to open some presents. We're going to go to the Edison restaurant at Disney, which none of us except for our parents have been to. Mm -hmm. And then we will figure out what we do. We'll either come we're back here and play games. It. We're going to get sloshed. We might go see Mary Poppins. We don't know. We oh, don't know what yeah. we're doing. I, I can just a spoonful. It's true. Yeah. So we, even though this will be... Next week, we hope you're having a good holiday. At this point, we hope you're having a very good New Year's Eve. Yes. Because I think this part of the video will be going up next Monday. So New Year's Eve. Hope you're having a good one if you're watching it on New Year's Eve. Or New Year's Day. Whichever one. Mm -hmm. Or on like Labor Day, if you're like really behind the times and you're watching things. Yeah. yeah. You're really, really behind. <laughs> and you should no longer be wearing... No, wait. That's, that's a different day. Anyway, enjoy whatever day you're on. Happy Christmas morning. It is Tuesday, December 25th. I got up. Well, I didn't get up. I woke up at 5.30, 6.30, 7.15, and at that point I was like, screw it, I'm getting up. So um, I'm glad I did because I ended up taking a shower. Um, I did my face with the Friendication palette again because the last time I did this I poked myself in the eye and got stuff in there and I basically ruined everything so I wanted to give it another try along with my lips. This is the Milani Amour Matte Lip Cream in Precious and it stays on for a very long time. And so I got up and I cleaned the bathroom because my cat is messy. He um, is messy. He's really messy. Um, other than that, Okay, so we, we did this Christmas Eve tradition, like in, I think it was in our host too, but we, we would open one present at, and in Christmas Eve and the rest Christmas morning. And Corey actually, his family celebrates and opens all their presents on Christmas Eve, 
they don't do it on Christmas Day. So it's kind of a mixture of, you know, what we used to do with one present and then what he used to do with all of his presents. But then what we did is we changed it up a little bit by saying that we were only going to do books. So... Because my goal in 2019 is to read more. These are the two books that they got me. And they're both amazing. Um, so this one is all of the art and secrets and the development of Steven Universe. And then this one is an entirely in-universe like series of secrets about the characters in DuckTales. And so it's, it's actually uh, Scrooge McDuck's autobiography, but it's like an early draft of it. And then all the kids come in and they, they do their commentary on it. And it gets really funny at some points. Um, we basically decided that the books were getting each other are more like graphic novels or artistic type books. Mm -hmm. Like, they're still books, but they... Things that you actually need a physical book for. Like, you know, a coffee table element to this mm -hmm. book, pretty much. So this Christmas Yule Log is Nick Offerman sitting there drinking his whiskey. He doesn't say anything, but sometimes he crosses his legs, sometimes he drinks his whiskey, but... That is what is on. It's almost like he's sitting there in your living room watching you open presents. Just spending some time with you in a very calm, serene manner. I very much appreciate whoever did this. And by the way, this particular video, although you can have other versions, this particular one run for 10 hours. So he will sit there with you for 10 hours. It's actually pretty funny. Is it that the other part moves? <laughs> That's why there's a little, there's a sickum thing. Here. Let's do this, Harry. Oh, so it sticks on the floor? Yeah. yeah. Oh. This baby. So, we are at the Edison having lunch. I've been wanting to come here for a long time. This is one of those, um, it's a steampunk themed restaurant. Um, it's based around kind of like Edison's first. Uh, electric power plant or something like that. It's a very nifty look to the whole place. It's very rusted steel and brick and everything's kind of a little dilapidated but nice enough. I like it. Uh, so uh, I'm really looking forward to this. We are back from lunch. We went to the Edison at Disney Springs and we went at the right time because when we got out from lunch it was mobbed. So we came back home after eating and now we're just gonna hang out for a little while i think the plan is to go to two j's for dinner but i don't really know it's my mom's birthday so whatever we're doing um but my parents got us a cat condo so we're probably gonna put that together play some games and hang out for a while so i didn't vlog vlog very much the past couple days um christmas was actually kind of difficult for me emotionally for a few reasons I'm not really gonna get into it too much but you just need to know that after two days it's now Thursday I am feeling a lot better but Christmas went very well for everyone involved the plans were very smooth and it was fine but for me emotionally personally it was very hard um, I mean, if you guys, like, you know, want to know more, I can talk about it a little bit, but it's kind of difficult to talk about. Um, anyway, so now that Christmas is over, uh, we're going towards New Year's. Um, but anyway, things that have happened since Christmas. So after we went out to lunch with my parents at the Edison, which we'd never eaten there before, it was okay. I wasn't really a fan of the food, to be honest. Um... They had really good fries, which I probably won't ever eat again because I'm not supposed to eat fries um, as much anymore. Um, and then we came home and we played a couple games with my parents. And then the boys and I just had some pumpkin bars that we made that were low carb and I went to bed. And then I went back to work the next day and I was just so tired. I just couldn't deal with it. So then after work, um, I came home. And my husband actually went to go see Aquaman. Um, he goes to see movies by himself all the time because that's like his thing. And I didn't really want to go see Aquaman. So he went to go see that. And I basically made some food because uh, during 
the holidays. I started watching this show on Netflix about paleo, which it, we we kind of started down that road, but then we kind of fell back. So I really wanted to, for 2019, focus on my health and just eating a lot more veg and less carbs and processed foods and sugars and stuff like that, just little by little, just to see if it would improve my brain health, my fibromyalgia and all of those things. So I had been watching this show, got some ideas for some recipes. So last night I was trying to use up stuff in my pantry and I had some quinoa and some sausages, some peas, and some pickles. I know it sounds really bizarre, but that's what I did. And I ate it and it was great last night, but then I went for lunch today, the quinoa and peas, and I just wasn't feeling it. So I didn't really eat a lot for lunch today. Um, but yeah, and then, you know, I've been getting stuff done, like trying to get some end of the year stuff taken care of. Uh, today, did more work, came home just now. Um, my plans for tonight are to make a little miso soup. And I do have a list of a couple things that looks like I need to do. Um, I'm going to get the New Year's Eve sale ready, which by this point will have already be happened if you're watching this. I need to continue editing part three of last week's video because it was so long and sensory parts. Um, and so I have to do a couple of those things. And then my husband gets off at 10. Marshall gets off, I think, at like 9. So, and then he's going to go pick up Corey from work. So I have some time to do some stuff to myself. Um, I just got this new holder for my phone, which is why you see it. It used to be this thing and I hated it because this would never stay um, tight at all. And then this was kind of like telescoping, which was fine, but I just, I don't like it at all. So I got this new one. It has a really nice stand, but I'm probably going to switch out the holder for this one because this one fits my phone and the case better than that one that it's currently on. Um, and then it's also nice because I'll show it to you. Just hold. Now this is the new holder that I got for my phone. And so like you push this and it loosens this so that you can um, move it around if you want to. And then it comes up like this. So if you want to take it around... Like, we have an action cam we can put on the top, and if you want to take it around the park, you can just hold it like this, which I think is super awesome, because the one we currently use is this one. So this one is flexible, and you can stick it anywhere, but it's not very stable, and I don't like that too much, so when we use the action cam, it's just really hard uh, to stand it up in a stable manner. So I'm really glad we got that one, so we can take it with us all over the place, and I can use it for vlogging, and all that stuff, so... I also got um, a couple movies in the mail, which I'm not going to show you because they are research for upcoming products. I've just been really into like this vlog or this blog that I found on Facebook. It kind of popped up in my feed and I think it's called 22 words or something like that. And basically this entire blog is all like really cool things you can find on Amazon. <laughs> and so right now I'm like, every time a new one pops up, I go in and I'm like, oh, I could use that. And I'm saving it to my like Amazon list just so that I know. And I'm just finding all these really cool things. I'm like, I could use that. I could use that. We need that. Um, so maybe next year when it comes to like people needing to buy presents for me, I will actually have a better idea because this year... I don't even know. Like, okay, so what I got for Christmas, um, my mom got me, and you'll see it on a video soon, she got me the 13th Doctor t-shirt, which has the rainbow and then suspenders, and it looks really cool. If you've seen what she looks like, you'll know. Um, she got me, like, a bunch of, like, little things, really, and, um, I don't remember them, <laughs> to be honest. Like, I don't remember half the stuff she got me. Um, because there were all these just little tiny things that I needed. She got me like these socks that look like cat paws and they look like my cat's paws. They're, it's hysterical. Um, my brother for actual Christmas ended up getting me a Massage Envy gift card because my mom gave him a Massage Envy gift card for his birthday in June and he hasn't used it yet because we only have one car. So unless I'm off, it's really hard for him to get the opportunity to go get the massage. So he gave me one so that we could go together and get massages at the same place at the same time in different rooms. Um, my husband actually bought 
all of us new wands, Harry Potter wands. So all of us have one wand. I have Hermione's wand. Um, I want to say my husband has the Elder Wand and I can't remember which one Marshall has. But he got us all new ones. So he got D Dumbledore's wand and they're mostly all Fantastic Beast wands because they just came out with those. So he got Dumbledore's wand, Marshall got Newt's wand and I got Queenie's wand which is, it's gorgeous. So we got new wands. Um, the other thing we did was we started the Christmas Eve tradition of doing books and the books that they got me were these beautiful illustrated editions of Harry Potter that are like this big they're super heavy but they're gorgeously illustrated um they got me the first and the second one which is amazing and like probably the best gift I got all year I uh, got this year for Christmas um that someone gave to me that I didn't pick myself and um, there is a third one and I still do need to get it, but uh, all of my Harry Potter, physical Harry Potter books, I have none because I had to leave them. When I lived in Minnesota, we couldn't take that much with us. So I had to leave my physical books behind. So it was on my list to make sure that I repurchased a really cool version of the books to have them. And so this was what I chose was the illustrated one. So the, like I said, they only have three. So I'm hoping when they come out with all seven, I can get all seven. Um, and that is amazing. Um, something I have coming soon is my mother-in-law gave me an Amazon gift card. So I am getting a new smartwatch. Um, so I did a lot of research and I decided I'm going to get the S2 watch, which is pretty close to Apple watch, but as much as it can be for a, an Android watch. And that is coming next week. So that's what my mother-in-law gave me money for to buy. There was one thing on my list that I haven't been able to get yet. Um... I'm hoping next time there's gifts or I might just buy it myself later. Um, I got my husband a 10 inch tablet because he reads comics on tablets um, and he likes it to be bigger than his phone because you know he's getting older it's harder for him to see and I when he got it it was only like a hundred bucks for this tablet and it's awesome the brand is awesome. I was playing with it a little bit and I was like <laughs> I want one because then we could take it to conventions and things and we could use it as like the method that people use to purchase like you know square um or whatever you know we could use it for all these things and so I put one on my wish list for next time so that is my big gift I, I was telling you all this just to basically say that I'm preparing more <laughs> for things I want uh this year I was horrible at it I didn't know what I wanted at all but so now I'm preparing um so on that note, I think I'm going to go try to start dinner a little bit for myself and then get a few things done.